Kovela haila le, haila le, kovela, kovela. Tadazani, tadazani, my Africa. My name is Nomo. Welcome to the online comprehensive classroom where we are changing our lives one lesson at a time, taking a closer look at our health, spirituality, finance, and some music to heal the soul. My name is Noma, like I said, and this is Learning with Noma. Um, in today's, I don't know whether to say a lesson <laughs> or just a topic. Um, please, if you like the content in the video, do not forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. There is so much more that we can learn, that we can share together, like I said, from health, finance, um, spirituality, sharing of music, just beautiful things that we share on the channel. So please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, today, the reason why I am here uh, doing this video is because for the past two weeks or so, I think more than 50% of the emails that I've been receiving are asking me the same question, Gogo, are you a Gobela? Gogo, when can we come and, you know, see if, we, you know, the person I've been dreaming about to come and initiate, Gogo, how much is, is coming to... To, to initiate at the institute where is the institute how do we learn so um or how do we connect with you um thank you so much for the enthusiasm but i don't know that is unfortunately or what but at the current moment gognoma is not um in any processes of of you know being a gobela or she's not um taking initiate so I am not a Kobela, simply answered uh, the question. So what is a Kobela? Let's go there. A Kobela is someone who is chosen by your ancestors, um, uh, someone who has completed their process of initiation, uh, someone uh, practicing uh, and they choose the person based on what they are also looking for in terms of Uktwasa because we all Twasa different um you know, I'll say different categories in Ubungoma. We've got those who have twasted um, Munguni, those are the twasted Umzao, Abangbaba, and Batasit, Sesoto, Sizulu, Kosa, Amatricha. So there's a lot of uh, of things that ta is taken into consideration by Itlozi or by the spirit that is guiding you in terms of who they will choose for you to guide you. So unfortunately, even if I was. Uh, taking initiates those who are asking me gogo can i come it doesn't work like that it does not work like that and with me saying that it does not work like that it already takes me into a space of saying guys um i am here uh, as ugog noma and and as people come into my ndumba there are people who um i am being you know told or this person has a calling and that happens in any ndumba uh, sometimes it's just to go and confirm that i've been having dreams i've been having the signs i've been having the symptoms and um, i've been speaking to a couple of people and all of them are telling me that everything that you're talking you know makes us conclude that you've got a calling and you need to accept the calling and you need to do something about the calling. So you've got a calling. But like any new diagnosis, it takes uh, especially in spirit. Uh, in spirit we don't work as medicine where we look at the pathophysiology of the disease and we then uh, try to fix the pathophysiology. In spirit we look at the reason why there's the disease why are you not at ease with nature your surroundings why why is the physique not at ease with the spirit so we need to find out why you've got those signs and, uh, and symptoms we need to find out why are you experiencing the dreams that you're experiencing and we also need to find out how do we then give um the the healing to the spirit and that is why i say once you get that diagnosis you then fall in or Ugognoma then will fall into the category where I am currently for, for, for those of you who need uh, a spiritual mentor, for those of you who who require spiritual mentoring, that is what I do more than anything. I am a spiritual mentor 
um, I help with the processes of those who start the, the, the spirit journey like myself in a space of the unknown. And when I say unknown, I mean like completely clean slate where you don't even know what is part. That is where I started. Um, I come from, I, I think I, I mostly say this in most of my videos, that I come from a very Christian background. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that... Uh, when you enter into a space of spirituality, you, you you start to understand that religion is a box and spirituality is unlimited. So you get to learn things uh, like upatha. Then I become a spiritual mentor. We see you are spiritually gifted, but now we need to find out how are you spiritually gifted. Who are the people that you work with? Yes, we see what uzo uzo twasa. What exactly are you twasing? Kimang otomo twasa and otwasa ta in, which is a very important um, thing for those who are looking for for abo kobela. Um, as you enter into the space of of initiation, understand who you are and understand. What is the connection? Okay, it might not happen immediately when you get a pechweni, but find that connection in spirit. Try to, to let spirit guide you to your gobela because they will be able to give spirit what spirit requires. And so you, you your spirit um sorry, your spirit will be will be able to be you know, fulfilled, it will be satisfied and you will be able to say and I understand the person that I work with and the spirit that I work with and I know when I get into being what is the work that I'm going to do. So guys, when it comes to Cobellas, you don't go and pick and choose um, like we are checkers or pick and pay and you go to the teller and you say I'm taking this one or it's not like uh, you've just finished matric, now you choose the university that you want to go to. Remember with each and every university we've got requirements. So even with um, Cobellas, when you go and pandemic, there are requirements. Lomuntu has to listen to your dreams. They have to to look at some of the things that you're telling them. Uh, maybe even a, a simple thing of um, a headache. Goga always have headaches and they come in this certain way. And when I've got these headaches, I feel like this, I feel like this, I feel like that. Those are the things that we'll say to Cobella Waha over yes this person is at the right place and i am supposed to take this person on and we are supposed to walk this journey together so Mari advice do not go around looking for a kobela rather meditate on the matter um, ask them for guidance ask them to show you direction this is them saying so or we need you know to to be healed we need to to come out and to work so find guidance in them and again a big 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 warning please be careful of the uh, you know of, of, of my colleagues when you go into Ndumbeni uh, and you are told that you've got a calling and then you are given a, an ultimatum that if you do not twasa you're going to die oh guys please be careful of such and understand that if you say i've got a calling and they want me to twasa then what is the process how do i then connect to them for me i always say to my patients these are your ancestors yes they are going to use me as a channel to give you the messages that they want to give to you but if something does not sit well with you or it's something that you're hearing for the first time lie and do baby let's you know, let, let's take three, four days, partner about it. Let them communicate with you also, especially things that require um, a ritual to be done. Because for me to do a ritual that is going to heal you, you first, they always say um, that for an addict to be assisted, they need first to, to understand and confess with their mouth that I am an addict. I, I'm an addict. I'm addicted to this so for one to be healed in spirit you need first to understand that there is a disease in your spirit and it needs either cleansing or it needs to be healed or we need to give you certain herbs to drink um, to eat whatever the process of healing that is going to be you need to understand it first and you need to be okay with it same as the process of being told you must trust her. that process requires for you to understand Okay, Gogo, I understand. Yeah, twice. 
who is the spirit that I'm, I'm walking around with? Is it a male? Is it a female? Is it from my mother's side? Is it from my father's side? And again, when you say, I am going to twice out, uh, am I falling under the, the same umbrella? Because what is happening now, guys, of late, and not to, to criticize, but we find that um, when umuntu and yenepekwen automatically they come to twasa umkumi and um, sindawo at the same time, but other people are actually just called to twasa umkumi. Others are just called to to, to, to twasa, you know, um, sizulu sindawo basoto. It, it's different. You can do basoto and then you do sindawo and you don't have to do umkumi. So it is very important for you as an individual to first do a spiritual research. I'll say. Find a map, understand who you are, understand the spirit that you are working with, understand what they want. And again, you will not get a 100% understanding before Uyene Pekwin. My only thing is make sure that when you go to Epekwin, the one thing that you should not compromise on when you go to Epekwin or to your Twaza, it's a Gobela. Do not compromise and say, because I like Gog Norma, I see her smiling every day in her videos. I want to go to her. I want to, to, to be her initiate. Because um, I see uh, the success of Gog Norma, I want to be her initiate. Her success is her success. My success is my success. Your success will be your success. Even if you are not going to be who I am because you're going to walk your own path. So... The, the most important thing is find out Uti, who is your Kobela, be directed by spirit and go where spirit is, um, is requiring of you to go. Uh, and again, the thing when you have um, a particular healer that is helping you in spirituality, there is nothing wrong, guys, with having a spiritual mentor. A spiritual mentor is very different from a Kobela. When we talk about a Kobela, a Kobela is someone who's going to take you through the process of initiation. You're going to stay at um, the Kobela's place. Remember, you're going to stay there and the how long I'm going to be here part of it. For me, I say even when I open my doors for initiates, that is one question that I have scratched out of my um, the questions to be asked by by an initiate or a, you know no you cannot ask me how long you're going to be here it will all depend on the spirit that you work with it will all depend on the things that spirit will be requiring of you before you go back home and it will also be determined by how you progress in in the initiation school they are just lazy you don't um you don't even know where medicine is um you know um some um actually let me say in dumbaraka because Okay, one day we will talk about the difference between Umsama and Indumba. Uh, so Indumba, it's, it's, it's there for you to learn. That is why Honali Miriana, you have to go and learn those um, those herbs. Not everything will be given by Ukobele because kana go mo tatuara Miriana and nje itla be kar go go wa bolela hore Miriana ona na use bedu sa for what and what and what and what and this is what this um, this herb is for. Uh, Lemba and it's it's used like this like this like this to be umuti. So learning is not only dependent on Ukobela sitting you down and teaching you. Learning is also dependent on spirit. So remember you're going to go there and you need to remember when you go there, you are not going on a holiday. You are not going to a resort. You are Those who have been in boarding school, they will tell you, you are going. I, I have not uh, personally experienced boarding school, but I've had a few people that have shared their stories with me in terms of being in a boarding school. Guys, you wake up um, in the early hours of the morning, and I don't even want to say you wake up at 3 o'clock, because it can be 12 o'clock, it can be 1 o'clock. When it's time to wake up, you're going to wake up. Um, you, you you sometimes don't even wake up because you never slept at all <laughs> and then you you know it depending again on um on impande that you go into um people will tell you with it was that you have to wash with cold water um you don't um drink waters from the tap if you're in the rural areas as a twasa you have to go fetch water in the river you don't cook with electricity all those little things and that is why for me i've i've also said the minute the institute opens or the minute i say amatwasa ayangena there should be 
pre-counseling which is something that we are lacking in in our practice and sometimes it's because you know it's not really lacking but it's because of um how everything is happening it, it, it's not like uh where you register to say i'm coming to school and then we'll tell you okay school opens on the 30th of january but you have to be here on the 10th sometimes umuntu yangena and it goes it takes over and they tell you to we're not going anywhere we are home this is it should we get out of here we, we will come back and some they do you know take into into i'll say into account that ish but i i left things not uh, well at home, I have to go report at work, I have to do this, I have to do this and they're told, okay, let's part, like you can go but still, it was, they come running back to Epiphany because now they've seen the, 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 the space where they need to be and in cases like that, there's really no um, time for things such as Ugog Noma talking about pre-counseling before Epiphany but pre-counseling is also very important and that is where a spiritual mentor comes in, if you find out that you have a calling and you come to Gognoma or Utlofola, then Gognoma can become your spiritual mentor. And not for her to say she'll be giving you all the information about, um, you know, Mbande because each and every Mbande has its own rules. But in general, that mental preparation, that emotional preparation is very important. Where you understand, so if she's your mentor, Ugognoma, spiritual mentor, I will be assisting you at least in getting the first steps of Upatla. Like I say, each and every Mbande has its own rules. Abanyabantu, they call umkulu, gamkulu, gakokomkulu. You know, there's just the trail of people that are called before they actually get to the... Uh, the, the the part of Upata. Abanyabantu, they just say, you know what, you tell them who you are, you introduce yourself, call your mom, call uh, call your dad's name, and it's Tagazelo, call your mom's name, it's Tagazelo, it's Tagazelo, it's Tagazelo, and then you acknowledge the spirits that you work with, Amanguni, Amanzao, uh, be it Abalozi, be it Makosi, you know, every, Amageta, uh, uh, whoever that you are working with, and then you just go into, into Upata. But basically, a spiritual mentor will be someone who will then be talking with you about those um, different, uh, you know, spiritual contents that you might find epiquen. The very same person will then also help you with um, feeding the spirit. This is where now we talk about the process of eating amakobongo while you are preparing yourself to enter epiquen. Some of the people you struggle to see who is your gobela, you struggle to find the teacher that needs to be allocated to you, then your spiritual mentor can then say, okay, let uh, you are not coming into my yard to be an initiate, but let's take the seven days. Tell them, Ekaya, Oguti, you are coming to, to, to be in a process of, um, of feeding the spirit. So in this time, it means that, Kitlari, um, Waila, you are sitting, you, you are given different foods for the spirit. So it's a different. And this is also to help um, elevate your spirit. All those little things, um, you, you, you will then be guided by your spiritual guider. And you will then go through those processes with your spiritual guider. And... You, you you will be guided in that also you are also learning okay hey this is what this is sort of like what is going to happen so your spirit get excited and that is why they will then direct you to to the person that you need to go to um, and again with that being said uh you you get to ask questions guys social media is is giving all sorts of information to us um, at the tip of your finger you just google something and 10,000 videos are available for you written word any information that you need is, is is readily available and you watch one video and you watch the second one and it's saying exactly uh, the same thing or you watch the third one and it's saying totally the opposite of what the other two videos are saying so having a spiritual mentor helps with that clarifying all the myths out there and also 
making you feel comfortable in in the journey that you're about to take having all those cues uh you know the questions that you're having the uh, i'll say trying to to also clarify for you what kind of environment you're coming to and if you have come to Gongoma and she is treating you she, we are Klola, she's your healer and she becomes your spiritual mentor it means a mentor is someone that um, you come into a relationship with and the relationship is based on trust the relationship is based on information that is factual and information that can be proven and information that um, information that has been experienced before so maybe in spirit for me to say proven and factual it might be a little bit uh, difficult at, at times to prove but at least you will be sitting down with Gognoma and you'll be asking about to go and where did you start um, how did it go obvious that things that she won't just you know tell you out there because some of the information once you get it it influences your dreams it influences some of the things that you see but you will be in a space where you are safe in a space where you can ask information and then once you have you know that for me that will be the the pre counseling that I'm talking about pre counseling of you understanding the environment that you're entering into because a lot of initiates go out and say that Kobela uh, Wang one one click of it, I'm being abused by my gobella or I was being abused by my gobella epiphany. Not understanding what it wasn't abuse. It was not abuse. It was your gobella being a gobella. It was your gobella uh I could go bella samula or was it doing so earning out her sister son. Guys, if you come in epiphany and you walk with a grandfather who's got pride and Yes, Umkulu is okay. Umkulu needs to to heal. Umkulu zomniga everything that you need from iskwamasako, uh, you know, herbs to heal. But this person is is always looking down on other people. That needs to be healed in that spirit. And sometimes for them to to be healed, this remember when you you approach your gobela and you go down on your knees and it's it's not the physical being that you are talking to but because you are bowing down to the entourage that is walking with this person the very same spirits that are going to guide yours what she sees with her naked eye she might love you he might you know adore you but because her spirit is the one guiding her they see that there is something that needs to be healed with the spirit that you go with and they need to be a little bit rough they need to to shout at you sometimes they, they you are like someone who was lazy who just liked to order people around and ukobela has to make sure that you understand you don't rest you don't sleep you don't uh, even uh, after initiation school that's when you actually realize that hey so you need to be trained for for someone who's going to run a marathon they don't start training two days before the marathon so that's why you need to go to training for how then you are able to face whatever that needs to be faced so that's why will not be the same person you might come to Gognoma as a patient and you see Gognoma as but remember the minute you become my initiate I get only said but I will be directing you on what to do and that is a different side altogether um, I remember at work I was um, I, I'm a nurse by profession so I worked in a in a unit and I worked with people once I moved to the clinical department and I became an educator in the ward when you said uh, sister Noma can you please help me to come and put up a trip I'll I'll help you put up a drip. Obviously, the, the educator in me will still say, okay, I've shown you once, I've shown you twice, you do it now. But once I was a clinical facilitator, now my, my, my mainstream was to educate. My main thing was to teach you. And I had all the time uh, to teach and I had all the time to demonstrate and I had all the time and the patients to sit there with you and say, um, okay, you want to 
to put up this strip let's do it do you see this vein do you do this do this but then people saw it as me being different oh she has changed all this all that but it was not me being different it's now that you're in a different role you are wearing a different cap and you need to act according to the role that you are in the minute you become an initiate, even if when I know Gogunama you were going to lunch, you were eating, must when we talk about Dintotabadim, we don't play, we don't laugh, we don't, there's no good to me more, you know. Uh, because even for me, it's no longer Norma who is going to be guiding you, but Abum Kulu Nabogogo that I walk with are the ones that are going to instill in me the, the, the wisdom that they, they have instilled in me and they are the ones that are going to make sure that Haru is a haluna we, we are saying that really I am bringing a traditional uh, health practitioner into the space of this community. Remember in the olden days, guys, we were talking about doctors, we were talking about people who were holding the community, people who were um, also holding the community together, who were pillars of the community because dehydration the first person of contact we go to as when a child is sick when there's a baby uh, that needs to be delivered we've got our traditional uh, midwives and they would go to those people and those people most of the time would be the sangomas that are now being taken for granted in our, our communities or that are now taking themselves for granted in the communities that are no longer respecting their practice and themselves so when you when when you 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 go out there and worry then this is what will be talking about we'll be talking about um in terms of you have you have gone through the process and someone need them why really okay and then um the other thing for us to to also remember guys is that um when we talk about ukovela when you get into a space like i've said earlier you're not going to a resort you're not going to you know, you, you are going there to learn. And for me, I have always advised those that come to me, we do the whole spiritual mentoring, we finally or we ultimately get to a point where we say, okay, Gogo, this is the this is where I, I, I dreamt of this Gogo, I received this address, and this is where you're going to Twasa. I always say, um, remember Noma? Noma Usala Habono. So you are going to leave your ego you're going to leave yourself you're going to leave your ways at the gate because when you get there already at the gate you are on your knees already at the gate you are being you know you are no longer that per the, the same person that you are because uh when we, we go to 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 the stages of class when you get to that stage there's a song that i love very much that says um you know ilanga lo bufa wa me ilanga lo bufa wa me that means the day of my death so it's it, it literally saying to you that the old you is dying and there's a rebirth of the new you and that for me is something that is very important for you to understand at the beginning of your journey that the old you is dying and there's a new person that is being you know that is coming into in, into the sphere and that is going to to be reborn into this into this um, environment of spirit, and you need to respect that. So the minute ufitla ko hakobela, ure kobela molao. You're going to respect. You're going to bow down. You're going to wake up at the time when you're told to wake up. You're going to do whatever that needs to be done. Then that it comes a point of abantu bati hey boko bela baso tlaki hamuzato eza kya mu pehela kya 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 everything you know uh all the 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 the, the work around the house take it like there's all the cures are done by me so uh oh hyper oh, guys please remember that godliness is next to cleanliness closeliness is next to cleanliness um like uh, for me personally that um you come to Kekamo Dume, and that is why every morning before after Ufusela, you wash you don't sleep then you clean then dumba you start sweeping the yard and 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 because that is your space of work that is where patients come in and then come on kunya ya kobela if yes you are staying there you are cooking in the kitchen you know you 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 sit in the lounge you do things in the house then by all means it is also 
you know uh, part of what you will do clean the space that you are in but if you're sitting outside for me i believe that most of uh, of the people do not have a problem if there's a room outside for you they want that room clean they will you know go and check they that your space is clean and that you keep it clean but otherwise their house will be their house and they can take care of that and the other thing is remember you're also being practiced to to you are training to understand that even when i get home as naga because and this is something that those who have finished do not even want to share with Amatwaza. And for me, that is the first thing I share to say, hey, you better get used to this waking up early. Because how you go high, there's no one to help you. I remember Epiphany, sometimes there's three, there's four, there's even ten of us. So when I'm holding the broom, you are washing the dishes. When I'm doing this, you're doing that. But how it will be you. You will need to wake up, you will need to make sure in Dumba is ready, you get your first patient at 6 o'clock because it's an emergency, it's a child, these people wake up, the child is vomiting, it's this and this and this. And when are you still sleeping at 6? You haven't washed your dishes, you haven't sweeped your yard. So it's, it's, it's a practice for you to say, when you are alone, I'll be able to wake up, I'll be able to hold the broom, I'll be able to say by 7 o'clock, if that is my time for, it was number 7 o'clock, my gates are open already in Bepo, it's already smelling in my yard, um, I've already put my incense all around the yard, it's smelling like, you know, uh, a space of Abandabadala, a space of healing. Depending, but that is the whole point of being a person. That is the whole point. Ukobele is there to help and to guide you in those things. So um, I hope that you have found the little information in this um, video in a very insightful. Uh, there will obviously be a part two of this because there is so much to talk about. But I'm sure part two will be rules of of Mpandeni. Um, and you know just for us to to understand for me the most important thing I think the one objective that I would like to achieve through the videos that I'm making is to sort of like create a pre cancelling uh, platform for those who are spiritually gifted and who have knowledge who have no knowledge of what it means to be it was or what it means to be you know an initiate guys we we, we are not all um, we are trying to change that now with the new generation, but unfortunately, not all of us grew up in an environment where you understood what is Upata. When you see somebody towards a gong or someone with um, ancestral cloths or beads, what did it mean? How did it go? We learned as we we started having spiritual signs and symptoms, spiritual callings that is becoming a real thing to us. You had to learn from scratch like a one year old at the age of. 16, 18, you started learning these things. So I'm hoping that with this platform, that is what I will achieve, creating a classroom where you can, at the click of, you know, of a button, um, at the end of your fingertip, you just click and you hear all the information and all your questions are answered. Ugobela, Gognoma is not a Gobela. Uh, one day I will share my story of uh, me not saying uh, because others will say ah Coco, how how baba how are you not a gobela but um yes for 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 the time being for the sake of this video and for me answering the question of saying Gogo, are you a gobela no i am not a gobela i get to assist me. um and i hope that for those who are you know starting their spiritual journey we are part of the first person here we have guidance and i hope that you get the guidance that you need to find the right person to to cater for for your spiritual beings and i hope that um gobela and they guide you in spirit i wish you all well in your spiritual journeys and please do not hurry Take it one day at a time and um, be guided by spirit in the journey. My name is Noma. This is Learning with Noma, changing our lives one lesson at a time. If you like the content in the video, again, please leave me with the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the content. You know somebody somewhere who is struggling spiritually with um, their journey. Share the content. Tell them to come back to the classroom for more content like this. And let us all learn together love and peace. Miss Baby, for the fun. Kobela Haila Le Haila Le Kobela Kobela.